All right guys, so let's say I wanna change one of my filament rolls. So we're gonna to go to the ACE tab here. We're gonna click on the one we want to remove. So we got that highlighted. Then here we have an options to extrude or retract. So let's go ahead and retract it. So I'm kinda of curious, can we just pull it out? Oh, okay. We can actually pull it out. We don't have to retract it. it comes out really easy. So I think it already is ready to come out. It's just not, you know, an automatic thing. You manually pull it out. And there it goes. So, huh, look at that. So I guess it's much simpler to pull them out than I thought. And now we can put our new roll in. So I got this brown color. Looks looks really nice. So this is not in a cubic filament. So let's see what it does. Okay, so it's pulling it in. And up here we can see that we have a question mark because it doesn't know what it is. So if we select it, we can click on material, tell it what it is. So it is PLA. Okay. And now we can give it a color. It's kind of like a brown. So let's choose that. Okay. And now the machine knows what it is and what color it is. So this is what you'll have to do if you use just regular filament, not the Anacubic branded, where it knows what color it is and what type it is. So yeah, simple as that. Now we got our new filament in there and we can probably start another print if we wanted to so we do have a 15 minute benchy i think i want to try that actually it's 14 minutes 36 seconds let's see what happens here start print we're going to choose our new brown color for that and let's go ahead and start it so this is supposed to be a 15 minute benchy which is going to be very quick printing very curious to see if it actually going to finish in 15 minutes a whole benchy so it's pretty extruding over there by the way, the temperatures are 230 and 60 on the bed. So it probably won't be too quick on the first layer, but it should go crazy after that. All right, there it goes. Actually, it's pretty quick even on the first layer. Let's see if I can see you guys in. Maybe a little hard to see there. There's a little blob there or something, but it seems like it's sticking. It's pretty quick. And surprisingly, not that loud fan just turned on. Let's see if it speeds up anymore. So in here we have 13 minutes left. Well, I guess 14 almost. And it's boogieing along. So this is probably going to be a hollow bench. Yeah, it is a hollow. Let's see if we can see here from the top a little better. But you can kind of see it that it's hollow. So it's obviously optimized to print quick. But let's see what it prints out. 15 minutes. Very impressive. It's moving quick, but it's not anything ridiculous. And again, it's not very loud either. It seems quite sturdy overall. There's some shaking going on, but it's not bad. Just a minute later, we already have a lot of the Benchy printed. So yeah, this printer can definitely be quick. That Core XY really does the magic. Alright, so it actually took 17 minutes, but I think a lot of that time was the head going back. So you could probably subtract a couple minutes from that. Or actually, it looks like it's almost 18. So not quite the 15 minutes or 14 something it was promising, but close enough. In any case, the Benchy's done and it looks quite incredible for how quick it printed. Let's see, will it pop off? It's kind of cooled off. There we go. Pretty easy. Again, guys, for the speed, it's quite impressive. I'm mostly impressed of the walls. It actually looks really nice. It is quite light as there's no infill, but this part here is pretty much solid, so yeah. Bottom looks great, overhangs look great, everything looks really good for how fast it printed, so yeah, very impressive. Alright, so I decided to start an ABS print, it's also a Benchy that was included, and it's going to preheat the bed to 90, I will see what it prints at, but yeah, we're going to keep it closed for keeping the heat in. I did change the filament here from number two, pulled out that purple and put the ABS gray. So yeah, it's quite simple. You just pull it out because they're ready to just come out. 
as they're just idling there until they're being used. So when they're not in use, you can just pull it out. All right, so it looks like we're going to 250 for the print and 90 on the bed, and it's getting ready purging. So it's gonna be a little hard to see because I have to keep the doors closed, and I can't really shine a light to the front because it will reflect in here too much. We can kind of still see. And by the way, it's going to take 36 minutes. So my guess by the time it's done, it's going to show 40 because I think it starts counting somewhat because you can see it's 0.2 and we haven't even started yet. All right, so it actually started and it is making a brim maybe looks like it, which is probably a good idea for ABS. But yeah, so far so good. It's actually pretty quick on the first layer. And by the way, the nozzle can go up to 320, which is quite impressive for those more extreme materials. But yeah, looks good. I'm going to let it print and we'll check up on it in a bit. So it's been only a few minutes and it's already doing really good. We got 9% done and it's pretty quick actually for ABS, which is impressive. And with all the doors closed, you know, completely closed, it's actually very quiet. So yeah, that's quite pleasant. And by the way, you don't have to plug this in because once you transfer the file, it stays in there. So I just got this little adapter on here to connect it to the computer so I can put the file since I can't connect it with the cloud for whatever reason. All right, so we're like 80% done, and <laughs> this is what we got. Looks like the Benchy fell over as it got knocked over. Yeah, that's kind of normal for ABS if it doesn't stick good enough. So let's go ahead and stop this print. So it stops pretty immediately. And yeah, unfortunately it popped off from the base, but hey, we can still see what it looks like, and it actually looks pretty good. So yeah, ABS is a little tricky as you need it to stick and it does want to warp. It's quite hot in there, so I'm not sure what the issue is, but it does seem like it was a little high off the bed as you can see here. So it probably needs to go down just a bit, like lower down. So not sure how it was sliced, probably too high off the bed and that's why it popped off.